Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is a Hamilton path. Now a Hamilton path, we had the definition in class today, that's a path through a graph that goes through every vertex once and only once. So if I am looking at this graph here that I have, just a random graph that I came up with, if I need a Hamilton path in this graph, I need to make sure that it goes through every single one of these vertices. And it can only go through the vertices once. So if for some reason I go to B, I can't ever come back to B again. Once I've gone to C, I can't ever come back to C again. And it doesn't matter which edges you go through. There's no counting whether or not we have even or odd degree vertices. This is a completely new concept, okay? So all we need is a path that goes through each one of these vertices once and only once. So I'm going to start at A. I'm going to go to I, then I'll go to H, I'll go to B, C, D, E, F, and G. And there, I've been through every single one of the vertices in the graph on this path. So my path just kind of flows A to I to H to B to C to D to E to F to G. All right? You'll notice I didn't even use some of these edges. That's not a part of the rules. All we have to do is make sure that we go through each one of the vertices once and only once. And in this case, we did it. Could we do it a different way? Sure, let's take a different color pen. Um, I'm going to start at A again. I don't necessarily have to start at A, but I'm going to start at A again. What if I went to B first, and then down to I, and then over to H, and then up to C, then to D, down to G, up to F, up to E. Looking like a little bit of a mess at this point, but I managed to go through every single one of the vertices once and only once without um, without even worrying about which edges I was using. All I care is that for a Hamilton path, I go through each vertex once and only once. And that's all there is to a Hamilton path. Um, there are quite a few different ones in, in most graphs that have a few edges, um, most graphs that have a lot of vertices. You know, you can find different ways to get through it. We saw two here. I'm sure you could come up with more if you tried. Um, but the most important point here is that all we care about is whether or not it is traveling through each vertex once and only once. That is what makes a Hamilton path.